was consulted human resource development and training specialist Eddie Frederick's power line. Grenada Property, Bank Lake, and Tillian Group, Country Cold Store. Co-op Bank introduces e-payments, our new e-banking feature that allows you to make payments online hassle-free. Log in securely with biometric technology. Make recurring payments easier with automated scheduling. Save time by paying your bills online. Transfer money to accounts at other local and regional banks. Send wire transfers on the go to anywhere in the world. Or send money to friends or family using buddy payment. E-payments, the swift, simple, and secure way of transferring money. I want the best for my family. So every meal has to be perfect. Every bite has to say there's no doubt in my mind that the best in frozen meats and vegetables has to come from the country cold store. Hams, turkeys, sausages, beef, pork, chicken. I just don't know my family in safe hands. Thank you, Country Cold Store, for being their best for the last 40 years. The Country Cold Store, providing the best in frozen meats and vegetables since 1969. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all. Devils big and small, the assurance we give, it's so glad to see, peace of mind, that's our service guarantee, we look to all our family, yes we do at every opportunity. Underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. Attention all forward-thinking companies. Sure, you can do with a continuous positive boost to your image and impact your bottom line. Hiring the right people with the right attitude and mindset is where to start. Even if you did not get it right through your current hiring methods, we can help develop the right mindset for your current employees. If you think training is expensive, try not training and you will experience a perpetual downward spiral in patronage on account of increased dissatisfied customers. Take things into your hands and engage the best at motivation and customer care training with a tried and tested track record. Visit www.efrederick.com now. Learn how you can change the atmosphere in your business and improve the customer experience for everyone who does business with you. Spice Island Beach Resort and Belmont Estate are two such local entities of world renown that have benefited tremendously from ongoing customer care, social skills, and motivation training. Training changes everything for the better for any business and every team member. Enhance employee performance through increased awareness and passion for the job at hand. Greater potential in your workforce awaits you through engaged, high-energy training that works. Log on now, www.efrederick.com. Make your wishes come true this Christmas with a loan from Port Bank. Make those home renovations, treat your family and friends, and get the things on your Christmas list. All of this is possible with our hassle-free financing of up to $40,000. Apply today and you can be one of the five lucky customers to win a shopping spree. Have it all as you wish this Christmas with Quark Bank. Visit our website or your nearest retail banking unit for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Right. Okay, folks. So here we are. We are at a very important juncture which is, happens to be our ultimate Saturday for 2022 and the final edition for this year. I want to thank you for joining us so that you can pick up your dose of mental multivitamins to strengthen you to move forward, onward, and upward into 2023 and, of course, beyond. I trust that you had a lovely Christmas holiday and that you're looking forward to a lovely New Year holiday also, with, of course, all the promises for 2023 and beyond. This is my 104th Independent Live session, and, of course, my 50th and final 
for 2022. Our topic for today is in the form of a command. When people show you who they are, believe them. My Angelo, the author is profound thought. This is one of the hardest life lessons many curious people ever tried to follow. But it is sage advice, folks. When someone really shows you and tells you who they are, take them at their word. Because we ought to judge a tree by the fruits it bears rather than the fruits it talks about. You know, a lot of people just talk, talk, talk. And guess what? Nothing. You know, young people say nothing. <laughs> when people show you who they are, believe them. That ought to be respected both ways, whether good or bad, positive or negative. If we pay close attention to developments around us, we would realize that we are made with built-in instincts to both protect ourselves against people and things that are not good for us and gratify ourselves with the people and things that lift us up. If you're in a friendship, for instance, folks, discover that you are the only one trying hard to maintain that friendship. You need to stop mama guy in yourself to think that the other person thinks of you as a friend. In my earlier years, I recall having a relationship with a particular couple who were determined to be takers with no reciprocal action. You give them a gift for their anniversary, Christmas, individually for birthdays. Wherever you go, whenever you return from a trip, you bring stuff for them and their children. And when your significant times of the year come around, guess what? Nothing. Nothing for you. They don't even remember your birthday. Christmas gift, out of the question. And you know what is interesting? Not that you did what you were doing for anything in return. Because I was never socialized to receive gifts. We were brought up in abject poverty. And we knew nothing about gifts. Good. In fact, you realize that every time you speak and even connect by phone or in person with that couple, you are the initiator of the contact. So when you get fed up and you stop making contact and reaching out, complaints start being lodged to other close friends about how you're funny. All of a sudden, they don't know what they did or didn't do, but they're no longer receiving calls from you. As if phones only work one way. All this time, no effort is made on their part to initiate contact with you to keep the relationship alive and fueled. How many of you know people like this in your life currently? How many of you? Time to take a decision. Make the cut. Let them go. Set them loose. If you keep on doing what you're doing, you're going to keep on getting what you're getting. If you don't like what you're getting, hello, stop doing what you're doing. Those people are time wasters. For any relationship to thrive, each party must be willing to make investments in the relationship. It cannot be the doing of one side only. For fear that when that one gets fed up, the relationship ceases to remain alive. But that's elementary. You don't need a rocket scientist to explain that to you. What were the warning signs that you ignored all along that this relationship was not going anywhere? When you encounter takers, as I have in that couple's case, your warning lights must be turned on and you should act swiftly to protect yourself. If you don't, you're likely to be pillaged and your genuine kindness violated. Grenada seems to be a factory, a large factory and warehouse for such parasites who pose as friends. Pay attention, folks. And wise up to the pests and parasites around you. You wish for some flit? Well, I have a formula. I have a lot because I have seen 
a lot of these pests that needed the only panacea, the only cure for them, flit. You flit them away. I've been using flit for years now to cut these takers out and completely off. Set them loose. Some of these people are even siblings, family and relatives. Happy to pretend, pretend you know, that they're proud of you. But make no effort to give you something to be proud of them in return. When you don't feel the love, folks, cut them loose and move effortlessly to a life that will be a difference as you travel light. Folks, you all don't know what it feels like to travel light, you know. I have been traveling light for some years now, and I could tell you, it feels good, real, real good. There are loads of people who mindlessly show us who they are via social media. And all I can say, shameful. If you are living good with your mate, whether husband, boyfriend, man, woman, girlfriend, wife, why would it be necessary to wish him or her a happy birthday, anniversary, Christmas, New Year on social media? I tell all you already, pay close attention. For when people show you who they are, you should believe them. The fake perfection of home life portrayed on social media is most times distant from the real truth of the dog-eat-dog -dog lifestyle playing out in real time off social media. You know, a lot of people around here are pretending they're married. That time spent contriving this, you know, and ventilating this fake relationship of their abysmal reality, if spent constructively on making things right, there would be absolutely no need to live in this make-believe world. It's so sad. So you see, for 2023... I beckon each and every one of you, wake up, stay awake, pay attention. So when people show you who they are, you should really believe them. Let's take a little break because we have quite a bit to come. And um, of course, this is going to be a very saucy program tonight. We're touching on a few things that <laughs> we're not going to have some happy people tonight. But so be it. Eddie Vacation with consultant human resource development and training specialist Eddie Frederick is powered by Grenada Cooperative, Bank Limited, and Tillian Group, Country Cold Store. The strength of views and opinions expressed during edification are not necessarily a reflection or representation of the sponsors and or affiliates of this program. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Attention all forward-thinking companies. Sure, you can do with a continuous positive boost to your image and impact your bottom line. Hiring the right people with the right attitude and mindset is where to start. Even if you did not get it right through your current hiring methods, we can help develop the right mindset for your current employees. If you think training is expensive, try not training and you will experience a perpetual downward spiral in patronage on account of increased dissatisfied customers. Take things into your hands and engage the best at motivation and customer care training with a tried and tested track record. Visit www.efrederick.com now and learn how you can change the atmosphere in your business and improve the customer experience for everyone who does business with you. Spice Island Beach Resort and Belmont Estate are two such local entities of world renown that have benefited tremendously from ongoing customer care, social skills, and motivation training. Training changes everything for the better for any business and every team member. Enhance employee performance through increased awareness and passion for the job at hand. Greater potential in your workforce awaits you through engaged, high-energy training that works. Log on now, www.efrederick.com. Inspiration, motivation, great advice, and biting opinion pieces, as only Eddie Frederick can deliver. Can deliver, can deliver, can deliver. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Eddie Fred Lovely. Okay, folks. I, I, you know, as at this point in time, I usually pay homage and 
enough respect to the goodly folks who took time to be with us. All you, you know, devoted and dedicated uh, 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 people who have been following me for quite some while. We have Yvette, we have Sawandi, my dear brother and friend. We have Roxy, Roxy, good evening, my dear. Dominic, we have um, Marlene, Marlene, good to see you, my dear. Debbie, uh, you, you notice I pick up the cup tonight, so we're going good. Ernie, we have uh, Lystra, blessings to you, my dear. Uh, we also have, um, let's see, uh, Natasha, Natasha, wonderful, wonderful to have you this evening. Angel, um, we have, uh, who else, who else? Maria, Maria, that's just, she's just a stalwart. Thank you very much for your good wishes, my dear. May I return the same to you. We have Tahira. We also have Belinda, my darling. Blessings, blessings, my dear Belinda. Um, Pele, welcome, welcome. You know, and I'm not going to say I thought you died because it's not you. Blessings. Um, Hannah, welcome, my dear, welcome. And Janelle, Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cynthia, welcome also. And we have a, a, a Marianne. Marianne or Marianne, blessings. Thanks for joining. That's on one platform. Uh, the other platform here, give me a break. Let me get it all together here. We seem to have, let's put it together. Kathleen, Vivian, Peter, Reginald, Charmaine. Who else do we have here? Yulene, Elisa, Jennifer, Dread, blessings to you, my dear. David, um, uh, we have a Marlene here. We have a Nicole, Unet, uh, another Jennifer, uh, Aria, Sharon, Sharon, uh, Donna, Jillian. Naomi, Helena, Shirley, or Shirley Ann. Um, we have a Wendy Ann. We have another, I believe another Jillian. Judy, Judy, blessings to you, my old schoolmate. Not classmate, eh? schoolmate, there's a difference. We have Brie. We also have Benedict. Welcome, welcome. Alvis, my new son. Oh, boy, it's beautiful. this all his age, full of wisdom, you know. We have a Jackie, uh, Jerry, um, who else do we have? Gracelyn, Susanie, well, that's a nice name. Fitzroy, quite a nice um, ring to Susanie. I like that name. Uh, who else? Who else? Truly blessed. Welcome, my dear. Welcome, Kathy. We have uh, Candy Kiss, Elise, uh, Kelvin. Who else do we have? Saron, Amanda, Sarah, Anne, Renee, Hillary. Wow. Kendra, Renada Sunshine, and Simon. Folks, keep hitting that share button and let's get some people in so that they can become edified on this last day of 2022 which turned out not to be a bad year at all all considered we seem to be going now to 2023 which according to international reports is going to be the beginning of the mother of all recessions but usually you know what happens folks we don't feel it in the first two years so my admonition to you is between 2023 and 2025 do some stockpiling and do some saving because when it takes grip in 2025, you will have some reserves. Start planning now. Eat little to live long. You know, the eat a food culture that done. So yeah, no more food to eat. And those who eat already, their belly swell, some of them puff. Some of them forget to purge. And some of them still resisting purging. But be that as it may, as we say, they go on, and we're going to hear about them. So welcome back, folks, to this uh, lively discussion that we have here, or lecturette, as I would like to call it, that we have here this evening. 
It is always said that a people who do not know their history would be doomed to repeat it. History as a subject in schools is probably one of the most unpopular subjects for students today. Young people are actually telling you they are not interested in that subject at all. This is an indictment on the education system and the stewards of our education system. In fact, this subject in our day was not elective. It was a compulsory subject. From primary school days at Heinze, history was taught. Though in a general sense, of course, we were able to glean a digestible bit, enough to shape our interest in it going forward. At secondary school, in particular, Presentation Brothers College, where I enjoyed the benefit of five good years between 1974 and 1979, the troubled years, as fellow students, as Richard Duncan and all of us used to refer to them, we were exposed to good history teachers who were trained under the hands of the late great George Brazan, God rest his soul. These teachers were Dr. Wayne Sandiford and Arnold Puggy McIntyre, both of whom have gone on in their careers and reached the pinnacle. The policy at, Pub at Presentation Brothers College, BBC, back then, was to get rid of your arts and general subjects at the GCE level in Form 4. So that's where we did our geography, history, English literature, and English language for the most part. Good. So that when you are promoted to Form 5, you are ready for the sciences. Since BBC has consistently been strong in sciences over the years without a stutter. In other words, without fail. Very consistent over the years. Most of us who went to school during these years, or that period in particular, and a little later, had an appreciation for history. At a time when Grenada was busy making history, many of us who are today parents and grandparents, we dropped the ball, resulting in our children and grandchildren not being interested in history at all. And hence, the same reasons and more given to justify the armed uprising against the Regeri in 1979 presented themselves all over again between 1995 and 2022 in particular, which could have ended the same way and even worse had it not been for the recent miracle of change at the polls via the ballot. I could tell you folks, there was an undercurrent. People were just fed up of that Machiavellian administration, pillaging the country, gathering all the taxes, and just benefiting their, let me not use that adjective, their supporters alone. People were getting fed up of that. And that was fomenting revolt. It was actually boiling up. And my concern was, with no leader of that revolt, we could have been into some serious chaos. Our people need to get with the program and learn the highs and lows of our history in order to participate adequately in the public discourses on issues of current affairs today. Current affairs didn't just drop from the sky. They have been influenced by developments of the past. And that is what history is. We have loads of opinions, and in some cases, thrown as tantrums on various social media platforms, which lack context and very void of substance, with a majority of participants in the discourses chiming in with emptiness. I always thank my God that I have mastered scrolling because to offer any clarity, those blessed with that uncommon plurality of ignorance would wish to be on the attack and we would have an exercise in futility. I have seen all too often when one cannot offer matching wits and intellect, they tend to resort to personal attacks and thus ventilate a rare form of ignorance to befit a civilization 
that has yet to be exposed to reason. This is where we have to apply when people show you who they are. Just believe them and move on. I promise to come back to this and bridge the gap a little later on in this edition. All for now, I want to offer some thoughts on us moving towards our 50th year of independence. And all we are still qualified to do is to observe the years instead of truly celebrating them. As we have very little, if at all anything real, to be truly proud of. The last 28 years, for the most part, as an independent nation, our stewards just use it to enrich themselves, rape and pillage the country, siphon the resources that were needed to give us proper roads, proper drainage, to give us proper education, to develop agriculture and make us a little bit more self-sustaining. These things were not important. What was important is filling their pockets, eating our food and ending up with gripe today. You see, folks, this, these are the causes of us not being able to be proud to celebrate independence. For the most part, the period 20th June 1995 to 23rd June 2022 and the refusal of our people to stay awake and pay attention to all the teething that they by their very negligence allowed to go on unabated by people who used catch phrases porn vulnerable tremendous benefits infrastructure development road rehabilitation projects citizenship by investment and all other gimmickry that a few enablers benefited from while the majority settled for crumbs and became pauperized and dunserized. Folks, I hasten to add, you know, that the only system of government that came close to providing the answers for our developmental needs as an independent nation, was the People's Revolutionary Government and all the hard work initiated by, in particular, Professor Bernard Cord, a planner and luminary of economics of his time. You see, owed to the power of history. That's what history taught us. At one time, Grenada was in the clutches of colonialism, with our parents and their parents being fully ensconced in the colonial way of doing things. Ballroom dancing, formal events were exclusively the domain of the ones properly socialized as the subscribers of the plantocracy and aristocracy would have referred to them. Back in those days, you know, when one knew anything about climate change, it was very few people because climate change was not a threat. It may have been perfectly okay for one to be dressed in three-piece suits to attend functions to include funerals. But that is completely out of the question today. With the advent of low classism and no classism, presided over by the cult and its leader over the last 28 years in particular, for the most part, the process of digression was never smooth to reflect proper transitioning. It was just do what you want, which spilled over into the level of lawlessness we bask in as a society today. You see, I am proffering all of this during the ultimate, the last edition of Edification 146 for 2022 to jar at your consciousness so that you recognize that June was the month of miracles when we rid ourselves of the maladies that cancerously attached themselves to the nation's way of life in its attempt to take us all to hell in a handbasket. As I said, 
a renewal of the mandate of that group of hell agents would have rendered Grenada a failed state indeed. Our culture is not to have balls and black tie events. Reality teaches us that the civilization has been decimated by the old nastiness that presided over leadership for most of the last 28 years. Our culture is fed. It's too late to bring back that horse that bolted so many years ago through renewal of decadence every five years from 1995 to 2022 with the exception of the 2008 to 2013 term. Now people are going to attend anything you call in ball and formal event with short and pants and they will dare you to turn them back without refunding them fully their money. In the odd cases, they may even make a scene. And in order to cool things down, you will have to make an exception, which will become the norm for several others who would reference the treatment meted out to that person. And before you know it, the whole concept mash up. What I'm saying here is not far-fetched. It has been known to happen. And it's been known to happen very often. So we have to be careful of all these Grenadians who come from foreign and are not aware of how far down our civilization has descended over the years to attempt to hold balls, gala, black tie events. Move day with that. That's not happening here. We have a lot of things to attend to first before we could attempt to have any successful events under the ages of balls, gala, and black tie. These things are off culture, no longer relevant. We have to simplify things and host events that are in keeping with the elegance we are capable of in a casual and tropical context. What climate change with that? You want to kill people with this black tie and whatnot? Madness. Madness. Those things are off culture and that is why they will fail. Trust me, there would be a lot more success and everyone will tell you what a great time they had. While you're at it, there must be a balance between numbers, cost, menu, if we are talking about an event with food and beverage. Aesthetics and activities to energize the event from start to finish must also be a serious consideration. If the main focus of any event is to raise funds, theme the goddamn thing as a fundraiser, not a goddamn ball or gala, you're out of order. You're out of timing. Instead of concentrating on upselling it for what we as a culture cannot deliver. For the month of December, at least two events could have been hosted in a simpler form. Each and a target of maybe even 600 could have been aimed for and raised even more funds. With everyone having had a good time and prepared to live long enough to attend a repeat the next time around. In this way, our returning Grenadians could have their event, which their numbers could dominate, and they do not feel slighted and cheated out of their contribution when they do not get value for money. It is always better to under-promise and over-deliver than the other way around. People who organize such events should not be polarizing and want to operate in the first person as if they could do this alone while pissing off loads of volunteers who eventually withdraw, causing the entire image of the event to reflect happening by remote. 
People who are integral to this kind of fundraiser should not wish to place blame anywhere else but on themselves by taking total responsibility for the failings of the host property and all that went with it with a view to learning from that experience so that the next time around, and God forbid there should be a next time, you know what to sidestep. Only an inherently selfish and self-centered person will not take heed and want to make the same mistakes all over again. Of course, folks, when people show you who they are, in the strictest sense of the word, what should you do? Believe them. Let's come up for air. I told you this is going to get incrementally hotter, you know. I did promise you. Eddie Vacation was consulting human resource development and training specialist. Eddie Frederick is powered by Grenada Cooperative, Bank Limited, and Tillian Group, Country Cold Store. The strength of views and opinions expressed during edification are not necessarily a reflection or representation of the sponsors and or affiliates of this program. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Attention all forward-thinking companies. Sure, you can do with a continuous positive boost to your image and impact your bottom line. Hiring the right people with the right attitude and mindset is where to start. Even if you did not get it right through your current hiring methods, we can help develop the right mindset for your current employees. If you think training is expensive, try not training and you will experience a perpetual downward spiral in patronage on account of increased dissatisfied customers. Take things into your hands and engage the best at motivation and customer care training with a tried and tested track record. Visit www.efrederick.com now and learn how you can change the atmosphere in your business and improve the customer experience for everyone who does business with you. Spice Island Beach Resort and Belmont Estate are two such local entities of world renown that have benefited tremendously from ongoing customer care, social skills, and motivation training. Training changes everything for the better for any business and every team member. Enhance employee performance through increased awareness and passion for the job at hand. Greater potential in your workforce awaits you through engaged, high-energy training that works. Log on now, www.efrederick.com. Inspiration, motivation, great advice, and biting opinion pieces, as only Eddie Frederick can deliver. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Lovely. And folks, for those of you just joining us, welcome, welcome. H keep hitting that share button as we, you know, evolve, as this program uh, uh, continues to evolve here this evening. Keep hitting that share button and let's get some more people in the room. Welcome back. You know, folks, a recent development in the news has been a published letter from the Citizenship by Investment uh, Authorities signed by current chairman Richard Duncan and the acting chief executive officer, Carleen Purcell. This letter was addressed to the Chief Executive Officer of Hartman Hotel Development Limited, an apparent subsidiary of Hartman Group Limited. The letter being sent with specific reference to the attention of someone that we all know is not important at all at this point, in as much as it must have achieved its objective of being delivered to whom it was properly addressed. I am not here to comment on its contents and whether or not what it pertains to was a gift, bribe, or otherwise. I'm not interested in that. I am here to advise unreservedly that the action is in character with who Richard Duncan is as a man of integrity. He personifies integrity on steroids. I recall featuring him in my weekly personality of the week in 2021. Hmm. Interestingly, the following was registered in reference to him. Quote, wise beyond his age, aptly describes this son of the soil whose personal and professional successes never disconnected him from his humility. 
This larger-than-life character resulted from an attempt to bury him. And instead, he was planted very deeply in Grenada's lone indigenous bank. With the combined vision of his board and management team, he led a meaningful transformation of this homegrown financial institution. Richard Duncan embodies the leadership and vision so sadly lacking among us. He's deliberate. He's astute. He's loyal. He is what success is made of. He is a leader with integrity and sound character. He is worthy to be celebrated indeed. Unquote. What are the chances that this sincere epitaph, written more than a year ago, could be used so aptly to support the consistency of such a stalwart and model citizen? In his defense, Richard Duncan, since school days, represented a well-grounded individual who exhibited early signs of not departing from the values Ox, his dear father, God rest his soul, would have drilled into him to preserve his good name and thus strong character. Interestingly, just by his life, Richard Duncan showed up to this life and gave meaning to character, being who one is, while reputation, on the other hand, is what others think of you. Ipso facto, because he remained consistent over the years with who he is, his reputation has been able to take care of itself. I'm not surprised that he took such steps to return everything and make it public. Only dimwits who do not understand what integrity is that integrity in itself is doing the right thing, whether anyone is watching or not, would have a problem with how he handled this attempt at gift giving or perceived attempt at entrapment. We will never know what the true intention was. But what we do know is that a man of character refused to be blemished by mindlessly or otherwise willingly accepting same. I recall some time ago, a certain person who shall remain nameless called me in into the office to a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him to discuss a possibility of me and a certain NDC minister getting a handsome kickback to pass a certain transaction his way. <laughs> Folks, the fellow was really brave. That was the 1990 to 1995 period of the Nicholas Brathwaite led administration. I walked out of that man's office immediately after the request. And to this day, never broke a word with him again except to reluctantly greet him, keeping my distance, of course, the few times we met after that particular incident before his passing. You know, I had a duty to report the development to Sir Nicholas Brathwaite and, of course, the targeted minister, both people of sound integrity. Now, those kinds of enticements never, never appeal to me because they go against the grain of who I am as a person. I strongly subscribe to Sophocles' philosophy. I would rather fail with honor than succeed by fraud. We know loads of people among us in our current decrepit civilization that would rather succeed by fraud than to fail and maintain their honor. We just got rid of the ringleaders of such decrepit modus operandi. As Bob Marley once said, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Money which they obtain from dishonest means 
on the backs of the poor and vulnerable, which they climbed over. And they claimed in the process that they loved, but used as an industry to perpetuate their Machiavellian, Avellian culture. Sad, sad, sad indeed. When I first shared the biography of a thief, not a thief, a thief, Richard Duncan never had fear that I was throwing words for him, as nothing therein fitted his character sketch. Could you imagine selecting, electing, or even employing anyone who such a biographic sketch fits to take charge of your affairs or the affairs of your business? Why? Thief season open. That is an indictment on you. You, the employers. You were warned time and time again. But you attempted to shoot the messenger while rubbishing the message and ended up in the state of deprivation you are in today, almost on the doorstep of a failed state. Some of you are mature enough to repent when you meet me in flavor of if I didn't know, when in truth and in fact, you had absolutely no interest in knowing because I told you so. But what were you saying back then? He always know. He always, right? Why don't you shut you up? But you're meeting me now to tell me if I didn't know. You didn't see some of you really and truly have been willing participants of the Jagabatism that you became integral to. Many of you who are students of ignorance because of your disregard for your own history will continue to go around in circles as a result of your insistence on not being interested in the chronicled events of your short, medium, and long-term past. There are people whose thinking leads them to think that Richard Duncan should have taken the cash gift and turn it over to Carlton Home Project. Could you imagine that? There are others who feel he had no right to publicize this as it is a breach of confidentiality, utter rubbish. There are those again who because they consider 10,000 EC dollars to be a considerable amount of money and because money is their first God, they would have lost sight of everything else that ought to be considered and taken the so-called gift and ruined their reputation because of that simple character flaw of being greedy. Folks, it's quite obvious that the shallowly inclined do not know Richard Duncan, the accomplished son of the soil, who was brought up on the virtue of contentment and a diet of placing a high premium on total quality, total quality through consistency of character, who you are, and is not about to sully his good name for a mess of pottage. While all these comments find themselves in the discussion over his firm decision to expose this and wash his hands of it in the public domain, people are unwittingly showing who they are in the process of ventilating their thoughts one way or other. And we should all believe them because they showed us who they are. Too many of our people have tipped over to the column of knowing the price of every goddamn thing and the value of absolutely nothing because money is their god. I know people who left one job for $35 more. And it's not after they left the job they get to discover that they pay more in bus fares and or gasoline and vehicle maintenance than the $35 more that they were chasing long after they changed the job. That is just testimony of how money is like a god to them and thus blinds them to reality. Yet for all we consider ourselves a nation to be Christian nation, when in truth and in fact, we are integral to the Jesus industry, using the name of Jesus Christ to transact business looking for benefits 
for those of you who are interested in a little history, listen to me carefully, folks. When Richard Duncan was unceremoniously removed from the office of Accountant General, and he took swift legal action against the state for his illegal removal back in the early aftermath of the coming to office of the NNP under the leadership of the old nastiness back in 1995, attempts were made to launch an investigation and or inquiry of sorts as if to impute wrongdoing by Richard in the office of Accountant General. Could you imagine that? Nada, nothing, diddly squat was found. All this time, it was as if to distract people from the abrupt removal, which was to cost the state hundreds of thousands of dollars, which they had to compensate Richard Duncan. They tried to bury him, but they did not realize they were actually planting him deeply so that he can grow strong and retire as an accomplished professional banker of international standard with a strong legacy, hard to beat, hard to beat. Do you know what it is for a person of Richard Duncan's level of achievement in the early days of his retirement from transforming Grenada's penny bank to becoming a powerhouse and forced to be reckoned with in the local and sub-regional financial sector to fall for just a little over 3,700 US dollars and an item in a box and a bottle of drink? Come on, folks, lift your goddamn level. Doesn't this make you wonder what may have gone on before June 23rd, 2022 at the CBI authorities' headquarters on the Caronage? After all, we have heard a lot, bit by bit, little by little. It's only time that will tell as more revelations manifest themselves. I rather admire the forceful statement made by having the CEO acting join in signing the publicly exposed letter. What was the message there, folks? Under my chairmanship, nobody are wrong here is going to be a part of this. I really love it. So you see how important it is to be in touch with our history? So proper context could be put to things we otherwise would not understand. And without knowledge, would run off at the mouth and make nuisances of ourselves to the folks who know better. In these times, here so and now, folks, our personal motto ought to be, save thyself. If in the process of the crooks and crookedness, if they get exposed, so be it. But save thyself. It is not, you know, it has become, sorry, too easy over the years for too many of our people to mistake dishonesty for being smart. I proffered that before some time ago in one of the editions. A man who steals all his life. Let me put that in raw creole. A man who been teething all his life and appears to prosper as a result of his teething escapades must never be mistaken for smart. Maybe a smart thief, but never smart alone. We have to remember the old fable. 99 days for the thief. And all it takes is one day for the watchman. Mr. Duncan would do well to realize that people would always view him through the same lens as they view themselves. They are influenced by their level of education, their limitations, their exposure or lack thereof. Therefore, he doesn't have to care or worry about how they view him or think of him. Their expression of their views of him is often encased by the ability or inability to think outside the realms of who they are. <laughs> their expressions tell us volumes of who they are. And that's why when people show you who they are, 
we should believe them. Let's come up for a little break here and we'll continue and take our final segment. Eddie Vacation with consultant human resource development and training specialist Eddie Frederick is powered by Grenada Cooperative, Bank Limited, and Tillian Group, Country Cold Store. The strength of views and opinions expressed during edification are not necessarily a reflection or representation of the sponsors and or affiliates of this program. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Attention all forward-thinking companies. Sure, you can do with a continuous positive boost to your image and impact your bottom line. Hiring the right people with the right attitude and mindset is where to start. Even if you did not get it right through your current hiring methods, we can help develop the right mindset for your current employees. If you think training is expensive, try not training and you will experience a perpetual downward spiral in patronage on account of increased dissatisfied customers. Take things into your hands and engage the best at motivation and customer care training with a tried and tested track record. Visit www.efrederick.com now and learn how you can change the atmosphere in your business and improve the customer experience for everyone who does business with you. Spice Island Beach Resort and Belmont Estate are two such local entities of world renown that have benefited tremendously from ongoing customer care, social skills, and motivation training. Training changes everything for the better for any business and every team member. Enhance employee performance through increased awareness and passion for the job at hand. Greater potential in your workforce awaits you through engaged, high-energy training that works. Log on now, www.efrederick.com. Inspiration, motivation, great advice, and biting opinion pieces, as only Eddie Frederick can deliver, 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 deliver. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Wonderful, wonderful. Folks, for those of you just joining us, thank you very much for coming into the room. This is going to be our final segment. Thanks for all the interaction and all the comments. Keep them coming, folks. It's all good, all good. You know, the 23rd December was exactly six months since election. And of course, that glorious defeat of the Ladron squad who pillaged the nation's coffers and became so comfortable that they grew complacent. The budget went through all its stages of reading in the houses of parliament and passed. This means that government spending is now legal as long as they can keep within the confines of their projected revenue collection. An interesting fact of note is that in the absence of all the waste and corruption, TIFIN, the government would have resources to reposition and may even record a surplus at the end of the budgetary period. All the grant aid that the World Bank, USAID, EU, CFTC and others pledged to Grenada that were about to expire have already been tapped into and they will surely help with the enhancement of our standard of living and quality of life with improved infrastructure and polished tourism product. Don't rule out the possibility of a surplus because of the absence of faith <laughs> and all the other fake faiths and entities, not to mention the bakers, gardeners, fishermen turned contractors who were used to collecting millions with little or nothing to show for it. We are about to see the new lean diet squeeze all the fat cats of the past who may soon manifest malnutrition and may even keel over and die as a result. All you have to say as often as possible to the hearing of the guilty, investigation and prosecution Use those two words very often, and the pressure of the guilty will rise. Remember, a guilty conscience always fares the midnight knocking. The Public Service Commission, the PSC, has been put in place to take care of the reorganization of the entire public service, which was decimated by the old nastiness and his brigands. Some important and key position holders in the service are up for retirement. And I suspect that because of the lengthy amount of vacation they have amassed over the long periods, many of them ought to be sent on pre-retirement leave. 
Several others who may have reached 55 and have proved to be as useless as tits on a bull or a lump on a log can be asked as to part ways as part of the rules in the rule book which states either party can bring service to an end at that age. Arrangements need to be made for others who suffer from chronic colic from the green juice, who are still intent on sabotaging through ineptitude on one hand and willful and spiteful actions on the other need to be paid off and sent packing. The list can go on to no end. The people who voted for change are looking forward to serious follow-up action from the time the 2023 bell rings on the first working day. Because six months is a long enough time for the new administration to settle in and start with happy speed to deliver on its transformational agenda unhindered. Grenada deserves change in the absence of all whose culture it has been to eat a food. Time for them to be put on a fossil diet to avoid their death as gotten creatures. All of us have out capable and competent Grenadians over the last almost 30 years, for the most part, need a turn at the wheel. Having said that, though, my eyes continue to be focused on those who have a desire to replace largesse seekers as the new parasites on the block. I intend to call them out to protect Grenada from the perpetuation of this kind of subculture activity. The cost has proved to be too high and we have to cut it out. If you're a square peg, not because you're a square yellow peg, you must be put in a square wrong hole. That not happening here tonight. Go and prepare yourself. You are out in the call. You did not prepare. So therefore, the opportunities will not be for you. It is better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one. What were you doing when you did not have it? You should have been preparing so that when now comes, it's yours. You didn't prepare yourself. Too bad for you. Line up where you need to line up. In the line where you didn't prepare yourself. No more square peg in wrong hole. No more wrong peg in square hole. We can't pay for that. This nonsense has to stop. You see, folks, a lot of constitutionally provided for institutions need to be sanitized and suitable replacements sought, identified and appointed to be a part of the transformation agenda forthwith. Again, if any part of a hypothetical biography of a thief can be ascribed to anyone holding public office, that person under this new dispensation needs to be changed forthwith. Far less if any such person held office in the past, and that could be ascribed to them. What a legacy. But at the same time, we have to make sure they stay out. They remain gone. Just before finally signing off on our ultimate edition for 2022, folks, in preparation for 2023 and all its challenges and good fortunes as we embark on all the transformation necessary to take us forward as a people approaching 50 years of independence, I want to share a little letter that I received from an ardent viewer of my lives who also happens to be a long-standing follower of all my previous programs over the last 37 years. Quote, Dear Mr. Frederick, you are a stalwart of a Grenadian indeed. I grew up listening to you together with my mom and siblings. Every Sunday was like Sunday school time when you came on from 9 a.m. 
I am from the wonderful parish of St. David. And even though we do not have a tongue there, I want to still ascribe the best to my parish and community. We react well to good representation. And that is why we invested in people like Mrs. Geary, Mr. Jocelyn Whiteman, Mr. Lett, and now Deacon Mitchell, our Prime Minister. Thank God we finally produced the Prime Minister. Over the years, we were known to come close with the wife of Sir Eric, Cynthia Lady Geary. I recently spoke with you, and you have no idea how moved I was by our conversation, but I thought I should make the effort to celebrate you. I hope and pray that this note finds favor to be shared with your audience. I wished more people would join you live and become truly edified by your sharing. It is a good thing the program is available after so, so many, so after so hundreds and thousands can access the good thing of this program. Anyone listening to you can see that you are well-read, well-versed in a lot of areas. My son of 16 years, who is himself ahead of his time, refers to you as a walking encyclopedia. There's always something to learn from you whenever I listen to you speak. I can't get enough of you. And so when I have nothing much to do, I do re reruns of your lives and sometimes get something new from old sessions. I could well understand why the last administration avoided you and tried with special zeal, just to use one of your terms, to sideline you. Knowledge from you to the Grenadian people would have helped liberate them from the stranglehold of the last administration years now. But because they had to appeal to the baser instincts of the ordinary man, they found a need to steer them clear of your wisdom. You are truly a Grenadian icon. Just recently, I was in the store in Manhattan and met up with a Grenadian who works there by pure accident, who was rushing to knock off to return home straight away, hoping to get there in time for the start of your live program to view you on their television. You are truly making a difference. And now that the Grenadian young people are paying attention a little more to things around them, you are getting through to them. You are an example of the power of patience. One thing for sure is that when you finally die and move on to the great beyond, you would be remembered as probably the most frank person in public life who did not care to hoots about what opinions others had of you. Only recently I engaged to someone who said they met you and never realized that you were so human and real. They told me what you see is what you get. God has truly blessed you with clarity of speech, a brain that possesses thoughts in proper sequence and a gift to commandeer people's attention with your powerful delivery style. I could listen to you for hours and not fall asleep. In fact, that is the reputation you have as a motivational trainer. I understand that when people come to your training, those who have a political opinion of you never are pleased to attend. But when they spend the first hour with you, they can't get enough, resulting in some form of confessionals at the end. I had some folks over recently at my New York home. They were meant to come at a time when I would have completed listening to one of your editions of edification. Though they were not from Grenada, they fell in love with the tonal quality of your voice and the bold manner in which you articulate your points. They could not believe that you were Grenadian and they wanted to claim you for Trinidad, where they are from. I am really happy to make your acquaintance and to have discovered you all over again on social media. I follow you and all I can find on Facebook pages where you are centered is good, positive, enriching stuff. May God continue to guide you and keep you safe throughout 2023. 
May you live to see many more years so you can continue to do God's work to enlighten others. May your seeds be truly blessed. All the best to you and your family, sir. Unquote. You know, all I can say to that is I am humbled by this positive feedback. At least I am certain that I have not been talking to myself over the years. It is said that if one, one does touches at least one other person in a positive way, his or her work on earth has been, has not been, sorry, in vain. Folks, if each of us would make an effort to touch just one person's life positively, we would help develop this civilization that has been mangled by the diabolical nastinesses who passed through and presided over this nation's affairs for far too long. You see, when you are at the bottom, people generally don't respect you. When you're in the middle, they, they tend to ignore you. When you're at the top, oh Jesus help you, they hate you. Do you and stop seeking validation from other people. You will never ever succeed in pleasing them. The moment you stop talking to some of your friends, you would realize that your enemies would have no new updates. Behind every strong person is a story that gave them no choice but to be strong. Behind every successful thief is a story that relates to poor character. Thank you for your patronage, folks, over the period of the existence of this particular program. Thank you for your devoted attention to my sharings. May 2023 bring you continued great health a new consciousness to take care of your health. Mind your own business. Develop your career, which provides for your standard of living and quality of life and takes care of your family too. And may you build sincere and meaningful relationships. We all have a nation to rebuild, not build, rebuild because it has been decimated by the old nastiness and his brigands. We have a nation to rebuild and make it fit for our habitation once more. We have good leaders in place. Thank God. Let's do what we can to show that we really want to be that change that we want to see. Let us go out there and make 2023 a great one. And of course, the beginning of a great future for us all. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. Thank you. I'm in, I'm out, and I'm gone. See you next week, which will be, of course, next year. God willing, for regular programming. Until then, stay safe, stay well, remain lifted. Take care of your wonderful selves, folks. Eddie Vacation with Consultant Human Resource Development and Training Specialist Eddie Frederick is powered by Grenada Cooperative, Bank Limited, and Tillian Group, Country Cold Store. Co-op Bank introduces e-payments, our new e-banking feature that allows you to make payments online hassle-free. Log in securely with biometric technology. Make recurring payments easier with automated scheduling. Save time by paying your bills online. Transfer money to accounts at other local and regional banks. Send wire transfers on the go to anywhere in the world. Or send money to friends or family using buddy payment. E-payments, the swift, simple, and secure way of transferring money. Welcome home. I want the best for my family, so every meal has to be perfect. Every bite has to say, mm, mm, mm. There's no doubt in my mind that the best in frozen meats and vegetables has to come from the country cold store. Hams, turkeys, sausages, beef, pork, chicken. I just don't know my family is in safe hands. Thank you, country cold store, for being there for us for the past 40 years. The country cold store, providing the best in frozen meats and vegetables since 1969. Believe in our strength, we'll stand by you. Protection from all, perils big and small, we assure our 
I'm speaking. It's so bad I see. Peace of mind, that's a service guarantee. We look after all our family. Yes, we do at every opportunity. MTU, underwriters of all classes of insurance solutions for your protection and investment. Live well financially. Attention all forward-thinking companies. Sure, you can do with a continuous positive boost to your image and impact your bottom line. Hiring the right people with the right attitude and mindset is where to start. Even if you did not get it right through your current hiring methods, we can help develop the right mindset for your current employees. If you think training is expensive, try not training and you will experience a perpetual downward spiral in patronage on account of increased dissatisfied customers. Take things into your hands and engage the best at motivation and customer care training with a tried and tested track record. Visit www.efrederick.com now and learn how you can change the atmosphere in your business and improve the customer experience for everyone who does business with you. Spice Island Beach Resort and Belmont Estate are two such local entities of world renown that have benefited tremendously from ongoing customer care, social skills, and motivation training. Training changes everything for the better for any business and every team member. Enhance employee performance through increased awareness and passion for the job at hand. Greater potential in your workforce awaits you through engaged, high-energy training that works. Log on now, www.efrederick.com. My wish upon a star, a star, a bright, is better by far. A family you're wishing for this Christmas. Make your wishes come true this Christmas with a loan from Portbank. Make those home renovations, treat your family and friends, and get the things on your Christmas list. All of this is possible with our hassle-free financing of up to $40,000. Apply today and you can be one of the five lucky customers to win a shopping spree. Have it all as you wish this Christmas with Quartback. Visit our website or your nearest retail banking unit for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Eddie Frederick has got it all. Inspiration, motivation, great advice, and biting opinion pieces as only Eddie Frederick can deliver. 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 Eddie Frederick has got it all.